and one in teaching you how to market your product through the downstream. That MOU was signed, Mr. President. It fell apart under this government. There's no account for it. it doesn't even, they haven't even bothered to tell us about it, Mr. President. And you know what happened, Mr. President, with this particular MOU partner? With this particular MOU partner, Mr. President, it then went to Latin America and forged links there in Africa as well and elsewhere. It is now a favored son of the United States government. And they are, in fact, in relationships with our other partners, BP, BHP, etc. So we've lost the opportunity. So what happened, Mr. President? This thing came about. They cancelled the MOU, much like they cancelled the OPVs, and they cancelled Alutrint, and Alutech has been sitting rotting, even though Carolyn C. Passard Beach, and then Minister of Energy said she would account for it. Nothing has been said, Mr. President. They cancelled all of that, and when the other partners came knocking on NGC's door and said, listen, we heard you're good at services. We want you to come on board. We're excited. The partner then with those said, hold on, hold on. Who are you talking about? NG who? From where? Trinidad and Tobago, that is not a government to be trusted. Needless to say, NGC is not going to go along the lines of service export of the type that it had hoped it would. So we have got now a terrible situation, Mr. President, which causes me great concern. And I am concerned because I am in this budget saying to this government, Mrs. Griffith, Dyer Griffith said, why don't you support and you all should support how do you support a budget when you know $6.6 .6 billion to be borrowed on a $11.3 billion deficit with $9 billion in the year before, with negative 4% growth the year before that, Mr. President? How do you authorize a government without a plan as to how to kickstart its most important sector energy to spend that money, Mr. President? We are on a fast road to the IMF, Mr. President. And we have an obligation, as much as I genuinely like and appreciate my colleagues opposite, it is my obligation in the national interest to stand up and say the things that I say. So, Mr. President, when we look at this, Mr. President, may I ask you how much more time I have? One minute. Thank you, Mr. President. When we look at what our friends say, Mr. President, we are really dealing with a concept of lots and lots and lots of words, Mr. President. That's right. Platitudes, back slapping and congratulations. I do not support corruption. Let the Attorney General do what he must, Mr. President. Deal with it on any point, but Mr. President, when I looked for what words are, and I looked to, I, I was inspired by the many quotations of my colleagues opposite. I had to return to literature, Mr. President, and I want in closing to say this. In Alice in Wonderland, she later went on to meet Humpty Dumpty. And something struck me there, Mr. President. This is at chapter six, Through the Looking Glass. Here's what happened, and I quote Mr. President with your permission, I'm sure. When Alice met Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty said to her, when I use a word, Humpty Dumpty said, in a rather scornful tone, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more, neither less. The question is, said Alice, whether you can make words mean so many different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master? That's all. Unfortunately, Mr. President, in from my perspective, I've just met Humpty Dumpty, sat on a great wall, whose words mean anything he wants it to mean, who is happy to just brand you as the conspiracy theorist, to create red herring issues, to distract the national population. But I want to say I agree with my learned senior, Senator Prescott. We cannot allow Trinidad and Tobago to fall into somnambulism. We cannot allow our people to walk around in a drunken sleep, Mr. President, not knowing that they've gotten to the edge of a cliff and that if they take one step forward with this government, they're going to fall. Mm -hmm. With those words, Mr. President, I thank you. Senator Armstrong. Thank you, Mr. President. 
Uh, Mr. President, let me start by saying happy Diwali to my Hindu colleagues here, and I hope that you enjoy the festival, understand that it's celebrating prosperity, and I wish you all the best. I would also like to express my appreciation, Mr. President, to the staff of the Parliament because when I came into this facility, I must say that I was extremely impressed. I think that the work was very well done, as has been indicated. It was done on time. And I think that it is really an indication that we do have the sort of skills within Trinidad and Tobago to really produce and produce quality work when given an opportunity to do so. Mr. President, moving now 